Hello, it's Miss Christy from the Goshen Library, and today I'm going to read some from Gail Gibbons' book, Monarch Butterfly, and I'm going to show you the process of a monarch caterpillar from the egg to the caterpillar to the butterfly. A monarch butterfly searches for a milkweed plant. The butterfly lands on a leaf. She gently presses a tiny egg onto it. The egg is the beginning of another monarch butterfly. It's summertime in North America. A breeze stirs the stem of the milkweed plant. The monarch egg is white and shiny. It is the size of a small dot and sticks to the leaf. When the butterfly lays her egg, she makes it sticky like glue. Wind and rain cannot make the egg come loose. In a few days, the egg hatches. Out crawls a small caterpillar, also called a larvae. First, the caterpillar eats its eggshell. Then it begins to eat the milkweed leaf. The egg of a monarch is almost always laid on a milkweed plant because a milkweed leaf will be its food. The caterpillar eats and grows and begins to change. When the caterpillar gets too big for its old skin, it breaks out of it and shows the new skin underneath. This is called molting. For two weeks, the caterpillar eats and eats the milkweed leaves. As it grows bigger and bigger, it will molt about five times. Finally, it is a full-grown monarch caterpillar, about two inches long. When the caterpillar is full-grown, it stops eating and something wonderful begins to happen. The caterpillar creeps to the stem of the leaf and drops down head first. The caterpillar's bright colors become greenish. Next, the caterpillar's skin splits open at the back of the head. It continues splitting until it falls off. This new form is called a chrysalis or pupa. The chrysalis is like a blanket that is wrapped around the body growing inside. At first, the chrysalis is long and soft. Then it shrinks and hardens and becomes light green, decorated with gold dots. Inside, the monarch butterfly begins to grow. About two weeks later, or just before the monarch butterfly comes out of the chrysalis, the chrysalis wiggles, then it splits open. The butterfly begins to pull itself out. Its head and legs appear first, and then the abdomen and wings slide out. At first, the wings are crumpled up and stuck together, and the butterfly's abdomen is big. The abdomen becomes smaller. The butterfly sits quietly for a few hours, waiting for its wings to dry and harden. At last, they begin to move slowly, and then beat faster and faster. The butterfly flutters up to the sky, its colors warn birds and animals that it tastes bad and can make them sick if eaten. Most monarchs are left alone. The monarch butterfly lays an egg on a milkweed leaf. This is a size comparison next to a dime, and right here is the egg. And it takes about two days for it to hatch. Here is the monarch caterpillar that has just hatched out of the egg. And you can see them there next to my thumb on the leaf. And they're camouflaged, so they're hidden from predators. Here is the monarch caterpillar that has just hatched out of the egg. Here is a monarch caterpillar that is about four days old, and you can see that they're really getting the stripes on their body um, at this point in their growth. Here is the monarch caterpillar at about a week old. The monarch caterpillar will molt at least five times during the cycle to become a butterfly. And this is one of the times where this little guy has molted and shed his old skin. And you can see right here, there's um, the top part where his head was and then there's the body of his old skin. Here's a slightly bigger monarch caterpillar who is molting as well. So the monarch caterpillar will eat and eat and eat and keep growing and molting. The monarch caterpillar will continue to eat and molt until they get about this size and then they will form a chrysalis to become a butterfly. Here's a size comparison of one at the very top 
left corner is one week old and the other ones are about two weeks old. And this one right here is getting ready to form a chrysalis. Here's the monarch caterpillar creating the web that the chrysalis will be suspended from. Here's the monarch caterpillar starting to form the chrysalis. Here is the chrysalis that forms and the butterfly will stay in there and develop for 10 to 14 days and if you look really close you can see where the caterpillar is inside, the really dark spot there. The monarch caterpillar will stay in the chrysalis for 10 to 14 days. This one's been in the chrysalis for 10 days and it's getting ready to emerge and it will stay suspended until the wings have fully dried. On the butterfly. Here's a monarch butterfly that has just emerged from the chrysalis and they're in there for about 10 to 14 days. This one was in there for 10 days and will stay suspended until the wings are completely dry before flying away. And that is how a caterpillar becomes a butterfly and I hope that this was a great learning experience for you. Thank you.